Welcome once again to Ask the Techies. I'm Dee Lee Beard, and as promised, today I'm going to show you how you can overlay an image on top of a map using the tool Google Earth, free program that you can download. Let me launch it up here. Um, so here I have basically a new neighborhood that's being developed. And let's say you're thinking about buying a land there and building a house on that land. And you want to see how the neighborhood's divided up. You can see where some of the houses are already built, but you're wondering, mm, how does this all fit in? You know, wh wh where does each property, I was thinking about buying this lot on the corner. And it looks like this corner lot would be cut kind of like this. But I don't know if that would be the case or not. I'd like to see the plat map, and it's hard to make the detail. Well. Oftentimes, developers will put a map on their website. So here's an image file um, that they basically had as a PDF. Um, and you can export it as a JPEG. The problem with JPEG is when you overlay it on top of the map, you're going to have all this white blocking your view. So it's better to save it as a PNG when you export the PDF and open it in something like Photoshop if you have to, to go in and delete the white space in between here, which make it easier for you to be able to view. PNGs are transparent. That's why it's a better way to go with PNG or GIF for Google Earth because you can adjust, you can have transparent parts, parts that you can see through. And in this case, I want to see through. I want to see what tree does kind of mark a property border. So the way you overlay this map on top of here to make it easy to see what you're doing, let me zoom out a little bit, is there's a layer right up here, right next to that path tool that we talked about. It's add image overlay. Tap on that. And then I just have to, I can name it because it's going to show up in my left, it's going to show up over here when I'm done, over here in my places. But for right now, yeah, I'll just call this, uh, well, what should I call it? Uh, neighborhood map. <laughs> and then you click browse to find your image. And I have it right here, on the, right here on the desktop. Click browse. And go to the desktop. And there's not the JPG, I want the PNG. Choose that one. Open. Come on. Voila! There we are. Now I want to show you something. I'm just going to move this off to the side a little bit. Don't click OK or, or that's where, well if you do click OK, here's what happens. It's there but it's not quite matched up to, to, to this. So we need to adjust it. Well the way you do it is you go over to your places and there's the image overlay that we just did. And if you right click on it, you do Get Info. And this is how you can edit anything that you create in Google Earth. Now here are the controls that you've got for this. Is there's the middle button and this allows you to move it around. Okay? If you try to grab in the middle, it's going to move the whole map, not just this. If you want to adjust where this image goes, you really need to get right in to there. Alright? So you click on that. Now you can see right now that it is too big. So what I'm going to do is choose kind of a central point, which is kind of like this little cul-de-sac and try to overlay it on top of that other cul-de-sac. And then I'm just going to grab the corners. The corners are for shrinking it down. And it will do stuff like this, kind of distort it if you're not careful. So try to make sure you go in a nice even path until you get it about right. And then you say, okay, let's pull this back over here. And we got it about the right size, but it looks like it's tilted. Well, that's where this diamond it's only on this one side, but the diamond allows you to t click and rotate the image to get it the right angle. There we go. So it's rotated. Click on this. You can try to line it up and you can make little tweaks with the size adjustment to get it exactly right. And if you're still not sure if you got it quite right over top of the roads, there is an, a thing over here called opacity. And if you click on that little ball and move it to the left, it allows you to see through a little bit more. Should I move it left? It kind of disappears to the right, shows up right, and I'm still a little bit off on this, it looks like. But I think it's close enough for my purposes to be able to see what I'm looking at. And when I'm done, um, I, I can down here type in a description if I want to, but I'm just going to click OK. And now I have this. Now that's overlaid on top of the other information. And if I want to zoom in, I can zoom way in, and I can see exactly where these lots lie. So on this one right here, this cuts around this way, right along the road. And again, you can adjust the transparency if you want to check the accuracy of the position. This looks pretty accurate according to the road and uh, even the cul-de-sac. So if I look here, it doesn't actually cut up here the way I would have thought. This property line actually cuts right back here through those trees. So that's very interesting. It cuts here and then over there. So it doesn't go to this corner it actually goes back a little ways. 
So it's probably to that point, but then it cuts straight back to create a 90 degree angle at the road. So that's a little bit different. This can help you to know whether this is, you know, how things are going to be laid out or how if you're going to develop a piece of property, how you might want to lay things out. You can actually draw your own little lines in Google Earth. There are other tools up here. I'm not going to go through details explaining these. Feel free to explain them. There's like a push pin tool and basically you just add a point. And, you know, it's the same thing like we just did here. You just click, click a point, you come over here and you have this pointer. You can just move it around and say, okay, this is the lot uh, I want to buy. I want the nice corner lot. And you can name it. You can add a description. You can even add in an href tag to put a link to something if you want to. If you want to see videos on those, I guess send me emails at questions at askthetechies.com. If I get enough uh, viewers telling me that they'd like to see this or leave comments at YouTube, I, I usually view those as well. If enough people want to see it, I'll, I'll take the time and I'll try to show you how to add some of that additional content and then how you can share it online with other people. Even though it won't show up default in Google Earth the way the 3D buildings might, uh, it'd be a way for you to share it. Or if you don't want it to be public in Google Earth, you can still create your own file of content, whether it's you want to map out historical battlefields from the Civil War, you know, we're having that big anniversary right now. If you'd like to put that into Google Earth and map them out, you can do that. Do little photo overlays of historical maps of the, of the, the battles. Um, lots of cool stuff you can do. Being able to look at information spatially and see its relationships, great powerful tool. All right? Have fun. Enjoy.